Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 79. Yeah, sorry, I had to double check my run sheet there. 79, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Uh, we did the new game plus. We missed our opportunity to do this at the absolute earliest possibility. So we did a quick speed run to the second earliest possibility to take on Lavos and get a different ending. Uh, keeping in mind that Depending on when you beat Lavos and what is going on, you will get one of a number of different endings. And Steam actually has a different version available, uh, a, a different achievement for each of the 13 major endings that you can get. Uh, everything else a minor variation of each of those 13. So, uh, this must be Lavos. This is going to be a little bit tougher since we don't have a full party. Because if you remember, we managed this last time without too much trouble. But uh, I, I wouldn't call it easy either, especially since uh, Marley doesn't have a group heal. And when we used Robo and Frog the last go round, they both had uh, heals that would affect everybody in the group. And she's going to be spending at least half her turns healing herself because she's going to be taking damage. And that's pretty much all her contribution is going to be is healing the group. Because uh, everybody's going to be taking damage. And this is uh, this will be a little bit tougher than the last go round. The last go round, we, we got a little spoiled. I, I ain't got a lot. We got a little bit spoiled. That's okay. We got, we got all those items. Matter of fact, I should probably actually be using some of those. Um... I might just do that. So I'll have him do Luminaire right now. And um, let's go Barrier Sphere. Yeah. And protect the healer. We'll see if they can stay alive long enough to make that work. All right. Luminaire. And let's get her health back up. All right, so far so good. Yeah, I know, it's gonna revive the body. All right, Luminaire. And item, Barrier Sphere. And that should uh, that, that should help us last a little bit longer between healing. Mm. That didn't seem to help that much. And we'll get a cure going on him because he's about to look a little sad on the health. Come on now. There we go. Oh. Uh, thought he was immune to status effects. Did we not give him the helmet or the armor that made him immune to all status effects? I guess not. All right. Um. Uh, there we go. What I get for not paying close attention to that. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, okay. He's got a thing that uh, disables that. Good to know. Actually, we probably ought to use a mega. Elixir. That'll get everybody's magic points and hit points back up to snuff. Especially since Chrono's starting to run a little bit low on the magic points. Oh, they're... <laughs> Seriously? Maybe I should hit him up with a uh, magic sphere. Um, oh, no, that's right. I was going to go item... Mega Elixir. Let's try this again. 
Because now everybody's hit points really does need a bump, as well as the magic. There we go. Ooh. This hurts. Who's going to need it more? Oh, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and try to throw in a little ice too, just to get a little bit more attack down, since everybody's defenses seems to be holding up okay-ish. Okay adjacent. That doesn't... Interesting. Alright, let me double check the totals on this, and then see what the ice sword too does. If that's worth doing too, because that is... 2k plus another 600 so 2600 we'll go ice sword 2 see what that does probably also do the magic sphere too Ugh. of course they've all got confused come on All right, let's try this again. So does this do more than 2,600? No, it does not. All right, uh, they appear to be poisoned, so we'll get Luminaire. Thought she had something that would, uh, Ooh, ooh, the hit points are running low. Uh, I guess I need to... All right, let me get the the heals in, and then uh, we'll start trying to remove status effects. All right, uh, let's go item... Panacea, item... Panacea... Combo, Luminaire, Tech, Cure 2. Yeah, that was a little bit closer. Yeah, this is a little bit gr a little bit more grindy without that third person, especially because these status effects. I don't remember this hitting as hard the last time, and I'm trying to think of what it, what it could have been that would have caused that. Because um, everybody's wearing armor that should have protected them from this, unless I had a different uh, a different setup. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it was a different setup. Junka Junka. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting the hit points back up. Even though they're not that low now, if I can keep on top of it. Yeah, part of part of it is definitely because I, I'm there with only two people, whereas the last go round I did have a full party of three. Um, although we still managed it. And in only 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. I'm just surprised that some of the status effects were landing like they were, because they didn't seem to land the last time. It's humanoid. Could, could it have acquired the powers of every creature on this planet? This thing is the reason we're all here? This planet is our home. Captain Planet... Oh, wait, no, no, wrong franchise. And we're taking it back. <laughs> now this, this is going to truly be a grind here. Hopefully I can finish it the next 10 minutes. We'll see. Uh, remembering that the, the little bit on the right is the primary bit that we need to kill. But we can't really do too much until we hit the guy on the left. So we'll frenzy that guy on the left. And we'll have her... Uh, start up on the cures and health.
Yeah, it probably would have helped if I had uh, a different two people too. Th this is not, if you're going to do it with a party of two, this is not the ideal party of two. Ooh. Ooh, I, I, I should have done a bigger heal than that. All right, as long as one of them survives the next attack. Because <laughs> that took her down to four hit points. All right. Go, go, Gadget, next round. Maybe. All right. Now we can start in on the big magic. And... We'll hit him with a Cure 2. Yeah, I'm here with these two because that's all you can have at this point in the game when you do the new game plus and you attack them as early as possible oh, shoot I didn't want to get that uh, magic attack in because that's going to heal the guy that I'm trying to kill and I'd rather kill him <laughs> all right All right, let's go Frenzy. Take that guy out. And let's go... Barrier Sphere. And let's start uh, getting the defenses back up. Oof. This was the tough one. All right, you know what? Let's go item Mega Elixir. Because that solves a lot of problems, and we've got a few of them. We were able to acquire them uh, towards the end of the last new game, and we got enough items that we can go buy a bunch more next time. Random status ailment. Are these going to land? Because they didn't land before. Okay, nope. All right, I'm going to hold off on her next action just to see if he's going to throw another uh, big counter. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, who's going to be hardest hit? Chrono is, probably. No, because Chrono's got the sphere protecting him, so, okay. Let's go. Barrier sphere. Let's go. Luminaire. That'll cut down on the magic damage this go round. Good thing we banked those up as we came across them. So close. Oh, he's going to resurrect them all, isn't he? All right. As long as he's doing that, he's not attacking us. So uh, we'll frenzy that last bit on the left that heals from magic. Um that going to finish him off? No, that's not going to finish him off. All right, good. So we'll go back to the Luminaire. Actually, I should have been doing this all along. I should have done the haste to uh, speed everybody up a little bit too. Short-term memory, something or other. Can't remember what it's called. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. This way we should be able to get in attacks a little bit quicker than we have been. All right. Luminaire. And oh, we're going to have to hit a uh, cure two. Yikes. That just about did her in again. All right, we'll manage. And then we'll have her to cure two on Chrono and then hit herself with haste on the next go round. And 
and that'll uh, that'll help us stay alive a little bit longer, a little bit faster. Of course he did. Of course he did. That's all right. Let's see if we can finish that guy off quick. It's probably going to take two of those instead of the one it normally would. Just because he healed from the last one. And let's go haste. And drop that in there. So that should uh, get both of them sped up a little bit more. And maybe we can crank up the damage output and finish these guys off a little bit quicker. Oof. This thing again. And since Chrono's running a little bit low on magic, I may just go ahead and burn a Mega Elixir. Alright, let's do that. And let's do that. That'll get everybody's hit points back up and get everybody's magic points back up. Oh, for a second I thought we were actually... <laughs> we had actually finished them off. I'm going to laugh if that's going to be it. Like this one last hit and then, uh, and then he's done. Alright, let me hold off on her turn for, those, for the moment. All right, let's drop that then. Okay, good. Glad I checked uh, before we did that. All right, so we can frenzy that guy on the left. Just technically, we could try to do the ice on the guy to ice the guy on the right. Because that should hit just him instead of all of them. Oh, that's not going to hit for much. It's better than nothing. All right, frenzy again. And then we can start doubling down on the big destructive magic again. Kind of wish she had a little bit more offensive power than just ice two, but that's the uh, that's the best we're going to get with that. Chunka chunka. All right. Oh. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yep. All right. She's back on healing duty for the next <laughs> the next two rounds. Luminaire, cure, get the healer back up to full health. Oh, never mind. We won again. <laughs> so that is, that is pretty much the, the quickest go around you can get. Uh, so you hit the, that little dot that's available only on the new game plus in the right teleporter. And that lets you jump straight to the Lavos battle. When you choose to do that, will change the ending that you get along with a couple of different other options for defeating Lavos early will change the different ending that you get so if you yeah go get the game go play through get get the regular ending the first time through achievement unlocked the successor of Guardia we're uh <laughs> we're at the new go round 
trying to remember when the uh when it when it actually kicks into the ending. <laughs> Something strange here. Let's go back to the castle. Father, the townspeople are acting strangely. Calm down, Nadia. Where have you been? I've seen you been hopping around dressed like a human again. Everybody keeps saying that. What's that supposed to mean? You know very well what it means. I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but there's no need for you to keep dressing that way. It must be uncomfortable. Come, you're just in time. I was just about to take a look at this 400-year-old film of our ancestor's wedding. We found it when we were cleaning up the treasury. Marley? Tell me you're not a... <laughs> so this is one of the special endings that you get when, uh, when you defeat him at that particular juncture. Uh, you would have gotten a different ending if you had defeated Lavos when I did it right, or when I would did it when I would have in, if you completed it when I had originally intended to complete it. So, if you if you do it when I just did, after rescuing Lenny, but before getting to the court trial, you get this ending here, which is a little bit different. And again, there's a multitude of different endings. And I recommend playing through many times. Find all the endings. There's 13 achievements related to the different endings in uh, the Steam version. It's a good way to keep track of how many, just how many you finished. Uh-oh. Lenny and the Frog? No. <laughs> <laughs> the end <laughs> oh that wasn't the ending I was trying to show but that that is definitely one of the extra endings and it is it is it is fun um one of the endings depending on when you do it will will end up so that way you you start the starting uh bit but it's all reptites instead of uh instead of the normal people. Yep. Ending number four, the Cessor Guardia. Clear count two times. Save completion data? Yes. Override existing save data? Yep. There we go. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go ahead and exit the game, pull up the credits. And this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. I've got one more episode that I'm going to record. If you want to watch live, if you're watching this on YouTube later and you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch to get notified when I go live. It helps the channel out and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live, folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube, folks, I will see you tomorrow.